Hey everybody, we are back here in the BC studio today. I have Miss B with me because we want to share something very special as what's been happening the past three weeks, which is core team training. Ms. Blanco, talk to us a little bit about what is core team and how did that even come about? So yeah, I'll say my name is Janelle Blanco, but the young people here know me as Miss B. It's me. So core team started nine years ago, I believe, in wow. 2014. There was a bunch of young people who no longer just wanted to come for the week, but they wanted to come for mm. more than just one week. So Alexander and Leah uh, wanted to explore a little bit about the possibilities of what that looked like. And I came along with another young man, Kelvin De La Rosa from Mini Grass. Shout out to Kelvin. Um, and we just kind of were responsible for being like the dorm life mm. leaders for the young people. So that's kind of how it birthed it out. In 2014, a bunch of young people said, hey, we want to crash at your place. Wow. And we want to be here for the entire summer. So we have like Mennonites and yes, Creoles. Creoles and Spanish, Spanish or Hispanic yeah. people, right? Garifunas and mm -hmm. Mayas and all kinds of a mixture. Melting pot is what we <laughs> yeah, have to call definitely. it. And um, they come and spend two months with us. But we've divided core team into three weeks of training. The first two weeks have a lot to do with um, our leadership training program, which is spearheaded throughout the yeah. entire year, which revolves around three main principles, which is to remain in scripture, to remain in service, and to remain in community. And everything happens in the context of those three things. Yeah. Scripture, it's not just about you know, reading your Bible every day, but the guys and the girls in their bunkhouses with their dorm life leaders um, get to do devotions in the morning by themselves, and then we move into the kitchen and we do it in the context of community. Yeah. Literally everything else happens in the context of community. The learning happens in the context of community. And service, well, we have a lot of chores. I mentioned washing dishes <laughs> yeah. before, mm -hmm. right? We have a lot of chores that they get to that they get to do it's not just about coming and learning and you know being pampered they do get yeah. pampered a lot <laughs> um, but you mentioned what is exactly the training and, yeah. and like i said you know even when it it happens in those three uh, core values that we have scripture service and community we've been able to break it down with the young people being able to learn our belizean made yeah. curriculum right so our curriculum is made in Belize, yeah. right, by Belizeans, for Belizeans, yes. and we get to teach these young people how to be able to express the elements to yeah. children, and then we do a lot of team building, because one of the things is just living together, yeah. but the other stuff is actually getting to work together, yeah. there is a difference, um, and mostly in the first and second week, it is really nailing down what it means to be a leader, but not mm -hmm. any kind of leader that just aspires for a specific position, mm -hmm. but a leader who is able to serve yeah. in all things the way that Jesus did. Wow, it's the, the past three weeks of training is always like core team training. It's, it's just so amazing to see the growth mm -hmm. that happens from the moment that they get here. And then at the end of core team training, how, how much they have grown. And to be able to see that growth in them, that, that has been amazing. I really love that. And like I mentioned earlier in the beginning, what I, what I, I always find amazing every year that it is a core team is, is the mixture of cultures. And, you know, as you were saying, right? Because I get to see a Creole person work beside uh, a Spanish person and work beside a Mennonite. And they're all together, you know, there's no boundaries, there's no wall, there's no division, everything comes down. And you just see a team, yeah. right? They get to, to love on each other, they get to learn how to work together. And it's not easy, it's not a three week vacation for them either because with the growth comes those challenges yeah. that they have to overcome as they learn to love each other. And for those of you that this might sound enticing and something interesting to try for next year, uh, Ms. Blanco, share to us, you know, what's your process of where do you find these people? Normally, they come here for one week of summer, mm -hmm. and from that one week, I think they, they see the previous core team, yeah. and so they kind of say, hmm, I, I think maybe I can challenge myself to do that. So, you know, I write their name, and um, <laughs> I just kind of keep praying for them. We talk a little bit about, with our staff, about these yeah. young people, mm -hmm. and 
it's intentionally being able to follow up with them. So sometimes throughout the year, I would send them a message or even go see them in their homes. Um, but that's kind of the process of how we recruit a lot of our volunteers yeah. and our core team. I get to travel all over Belize to be able mm. to connect with young people and be able to visit not only different places, but to be in the homes of wow. different um, young people who come and, and serve us throughout the year. They are starting camps next week. That's right. Yes, camps. And they'll be doing camps for five weeks in nine different locations with nine different groups of kids. There'll be weeks where they're splitting in half. Let's keep them in, in our prayer that everything that they've been learning for the past three weeks they'll be now putting into practice and they will just focus on bringing hope to the kids of our city so make sure to stay tuned as we keep updating you guys with a lot of fun stuff about this bce summer bce belize changing belize